So I'm not going to do a voiceover for this segment, but right here I'm just going to, my head's going to be cut off with just listen to my voice and I use my hands for emphasis, you know what I'm saying? I used to do sign language so we learn all that stuff, but I forget how to do anything in sign language. But So these are like basically all the like brands that I actually go out and buy um, straight up, like I'll go to the store or I'll shop on the website. And this is like all the stuff that I've like, I thrifted. So these are like, these aren't all my clothes, but I think it does a good job represent, representing like the balance between the brands that I actually like to wear and um, going out and thrifting clothes. So we'll start off with um, this side. Um, these are all the brands and you can see how close or similar, similar um, and amount of pieces that I have. So these are my thrifted, but I'm talking in circles, so let's start off. So this first section right here, this is all H&M. It's a basic shirt, jacket, I have another jacket, hoodie, uh, pants from here as well. I, usually, I get shorts from here. h and like one of my, it's like my go-to place when I shop. Um, definitely, I love H&M. They have really great stuff and they have designers creating new gear that's up with fashion. So that's pretty nice. I really love H&M. I know all of you guys shop there and if you don't, check them out because they have really nice staple pieces that you can integrate in their wardrobe. Um, right here um, is Gap. I'm pretty sure I have maybe another piece from Gap, but I had a gift card to there so I just got there. It's not one of my main places I shop but during the holidays I'll look while I'm putting things off the hanger but I will look in the Gap because they do have some essential pieces that I will like to purchase so Gap is it's a brand that I'll wear but it's not a main it's not my main rotation for shopping. Um, this section right here is kind of my older section. I used to love this place. This used to be my go-to um, place to shop. So this is Old Navy. I have this. I got the shirt when I was in like sixth or fifth grade and I still can wear it. I don't wear it very often but I have it in here. I should probably not have it hanging up because it takes a lot of space but Old Navy, they're, they're, I don't, Old Navy, they ain't nothing man. You probably, you can find some good pieces. I've seen, I forgot who had a nice striped shirt from, it probably Alu Lion probably had a piece from there that I like but Old Navy, they have some alright stuff. This is just a Shaw neck sweaters. Actually, you wear this quite often. I got this when I was in high school, I do believe. And yeah, um, used to be the mainstay, but now it's just the uh, never. I don't shop there. But right here, this is a place that I did spend a lot of money in. I definitely have more pieces than this. Like the pants that I'm wearing right now are from American Eagle. Um, so yeah, the denim. This denim shirt, love it. This flannel, I only wore once. This and but this thing is like a mainstay for sure. I got this made four years ago. It's the denim jacket. American Eagle, they have they're great with the pants. That's why I used to go there is to get pants and all that. Um, this is not doing a good representation of how much I shop there, but um, American Eagle is definitely, I'd say my second or third most shopped at store probably. Within recent time, it's H&M, but American Eagles throughout history is definitely the most place I spend most of my money, and it does have a big representation of my closet. Another one is a big hitter, and still not doing it justice. I have more pieces out here, probably like four or so that I could have hung up here or more. This is PacSun. They're all different brands, like on the biases there, in shop, house brand, uh, 44M. It's just something they stock, but Paxson is definitely, I'd say, the second place I'll go to. So I used to go to um, H&M, then I'll go to Paxson. And yeah, definitely a great place. You know, it kind of goes to the streetwear vibes, kind of hip and skaterish, if you want if you want to say that. Definitely dope. Got this years ago. Probably got this last year, but I don't know. They definitely have staple pieces that you can wear out through life. My Levi's I got from Paxson. So Paxson is another place that I usually go to. Um, right here it's just retrofit. I watched in DC, I was there, I liked it, I bought it. And that right here is going to represent Urban Outfitters. I definitely have more pieces for all these brands, but I'm only hanging stuff up that's clean or I have hanging up, you know what I'm saying? 
but Urban Outfitters is definitely a great store. Uh, very hip. You could say they have a hipsterish vibe, but they also have streetwear bands that they carry there and the shoes and whatnot. Definitely great clothes, definitely with the times. Very integrative store that's keeping up with fashion trends. Um, Urban Outfitters, I'd say, is still in my, it's in my top five places where I want to shop. So right here is actually probably the only streetwear brand that I've actually rocked with, if you know what I'm saying. Um, you know, I used to shop on Carmen Loop, I haven't shopped on there in a while, but right here is like an independent brand, it's Veritas Apparel, I actually did a um, brand showcase for them, if you want to check that out, I'll leave the link down in the description, but yeah. This is a streetwear brand, actually. Um, I just, like, I'd say I was in the streetwear community, but now that I've um, kind of looked in the fashion community and I distinguish myself as just a person that's into style, not necessarily like a streetwear person or men's fashion, like I'm really into styles. I guess that's what it is, but this is probably represents all of the streetwear, like literally streetwear pieces that I have in my wardrobe. So Veritas Apparel, they're actually really dope. They have collections coming out, you know, fall, winter, summer, spring. So check them out. Definitely two dope pieces. Um, Veritas Apparel. I'll link them down below as well. Right here, this goes into high school. Johnny Cupcakes. I probably have three more shorts from them. This is just a high school phase where I used to just rock um, pants, shoes, and a graphic tee. I've grown from then, but... Johnny Cupcakes, I spent a lot of money there. Um, definitely a dope brand. Um, uh, now, so I wouldn't mess with them anymore, but Johnny Cupcakes was part of my history of getting into style. And last, no, not lastly, okay, Zara. Oh, this is my only piece from Zara. This bomber jacket that you see in a lot of my videos. I love this jacket. Um, this 100% um, represents my amount of Zara because I only have one piece from Zara, but. That I definitely like what they have. Zara's a good place. Definitely dope jacket. But that's all I have from that um, brand. All right here, J. Crew um, started off with my fedora. It's over there. I have this shirt I haven't worn yet. I got this uh, maybe a couple months ago. And I also have some thrifted items that are from J. Crew. But this represents all that I've actually purchased from J. Crew plus my fedora. Um, definitely a nice, it's more classier, upscale brand, if you will, quote unquote. Yeah, whatever, not really, but um, they definitely good quality stuff, more classier pieces, if you will, and definitely timeless. Nice plum shirt, haven't worn it yet, so yeah. So this is all like brands. I'm trying, I'm trying to like explain like the brands that I actually go out and buy and the things I actually thrift. So like. I'm just breaking down my um, closet. I'm probably, I'm really. I hope you guys understand what this video is about. But yeah, <laughs> um, so right here is just the things that I thrift. I definitely have more than this, and a lot. I just, I love thrifting. I find a lot of essential uh, showcase pieces, if you will, that from there. Just the, you know, Mickey, some shirts, jackets, nice bold polos, polos, shirts. It's just. Thrift thing is very versatile. Here's J. Crew. You find some name brand brands that you always buy. You know, yes, these are already that prominent. You know, th it's just thrift things are really good. This is for my dad, actually, it's not thrifted. It's just, yeah, where I like to shop mostly. Um, and you can do find some things like the hundreds right here, which is actually a skater brand, skateboard brand, streetwear brand, if you will. So, this video is just representing the brands that I actually go out and buy and support. Like I really don't have streetwear clothes like from streetwear brands. I don't have any high fashion brands at all. Um, so this is actually what I wear and what I put together in my um, fashion videos and just what I'm working with. This is what I like. I think the most expensive piece that I actually purchased, um, including pants, have been um, probably this jacket which was like $70 because I don't buy 
pieces that are over like sixty dollars usually but I really like this jacket so you know this is what I buy and what I wear and I think how I style it is pretty nice so yeah so it's your boy Nick I hope you guys enjoyed this video it's kind of different but I kind of I wanted to do this for a while and explain my style like I guess I wouldn't call it I think it's an integration just how I style things I'm streetwear hipster prep whatever it's just I guess a cohesion of things that I like to wear um, so I hope you enjoyed this video it's a little different I probably talked on I have no idea how long these clips are but like comment subscribe if you like fashion photos on Instagram, check me out at All Star Alston and stay with style, guys. Peace.